Hi everyone, welcome back to Rachel's Enchanting Cakes. For today's tutorial, we're going to be turning the Terry's Chocolate Orange into a Christmas penguin who is sending some mail to Santa. As always, everything you need to know in a simple step-by-step -step format and excellent for any new beginner baker. I'm going to guide you through everything step by step and if you are new to my channel there are now seven free detailed tutorials all decorating your Terry's chocolate orange on a different theme. Happy baking guys and let's make a start. Taking a milk Terry's chocolate orange egg I simply unwrap this and place it directly onto some baking paper. Using liquid glucose, I place a small amount of this in a little tub and using a brush, I simply brush over the Terry's chocolate orange egg. Liquid glucose is just liquid sugar. It will give something for the fondant to stick to, but if you don't have this, you can also use piping gel. Roll out exactly 150 gram of black fondant, keeping it in a circular shape. Place this over the Terry's chocolate orange and start to negotiate the pleats from the top to the bottom. Using a sharp knife, cut off the excess fondant. I then smooth out the edges of the egg right underneath with a flexible smoother. If you do not have one of these, you can simply use your fingers. Then you want to cut off the rest of the fondant that is left with a sharp knife. Cut out a small circle of white fondant and stick this directly to the front of the penguin using a small amount of edible glue. For the penguin's feet, simply start with an orange ball of fondant and push this down at one end in your hand. This will be the part that goes underneath the penguin. I then place it back onto the baking paper and continue to shape it before I apply some edible glue. And then I physically lift the penguin up and place it directly onto his feet. For the penguin's wings, start by cutting out a circle shape and then I simply use a circle cutter again to create more of an oval like shape. You want to then apply this directly to the penguin with a small amount of edible glue and I use a little bit of kitchen roll just to support it. Once the fondant has completely set, these wings will stay where they are. I then apply a round ball of black fondant for the penguin's head using a small amount of edible glue. Cut out a small heart shape and apply this directly to the penguin's head. This will be the penguin's face using a small amount of edible glue. I then simply smooth it out around the sides. Using a ball tool, I simply placed indentations in there for the eyes. You then want to add two small balls of black fondant. Repeat that with the blue. Then finally, two even smaller balls of black for the pupils. For his beak, again, we're just going to shape this in our, in our hands. Start with a ball shape and squeeze at one end. You then want to apply this directly to your penguin with some edible glue. For the scarf, simply roll out a really long sausage shape and wrap this around your penguin's neck using some edible glue. You then want to use a cocktail stick to add a few indentations to give it a bit more detail. For his ear muffs, you simply want a sausage shape and two round balls. Place some edible glue directly on the head. Add the sausage shape, then start to shape it more with your hand by squashing it down. And place each ball on either side, again squashing it in slightly. For Santa's letter, I simply cut out a rectangular shape from some fondant. I do this freehand. Using some black edible paint, or you can use food colouring, I simply then paint on a few details directly onto the fondant letter. I simply remove one of my supports for the wing, add some edible glue and very carefully apply the letter. The food colouring on here is still wet, it's still setting. I didn't want to leave the fondant for too long because otherwise it would have cracked when I placed it directly onto the penguin. So take that into consideration first. And it really is as easy as that. Now remember what I said about the wings, they just need time to set. Fondant does go hard as well, so you don't need to turn it into modelling paste. But I did leave the kitchen roll in there for some time. 
Also remember, the more humid it is, the longer it can take them to set. So bear that in mind as well. Happy baking, everyone. If you are new to my channel, there are now 192 completely free tutorials available with seven of these Terry's Chocolate Orange tutorials, all on a Christmassy theme. Thank you all for your amazing support and I will be back soon with more new completely free content.